Hi booktube, it's Gina and I'm here today to do another tag. I don't know why tags get such a bad rap on booktube. I think they're a ton of fun, help me to think of things to talk about and it's just fun to, to share some information back and forth. So this is the mm, A tag which was created, an original tag by Jim's Books and reading and stuff because you can't say Jim without doing the hand motions and I was tagged by Steve Donahue so let's get started the a tag prompt number one a is for America what do you consider the great American novel and I don't consider it I know it for a fact because the author told me and the publisher told me that this book is the great American novel. Do I believe it? No, but I'm going to go with this because I don't really think there's a such a thing as the great American novel. So because the publisher told me that this is great, I'm just gonna go with this. <laughs> Prompt number two, A is for arc. Which character in literature has the most interesting character arc. And I'm gonna go for an oldie but a goodie on my shelf here, which is the Live Ship Trader series by Robin Hobb. This is one of the trilogies in her 16 book realm of the elderlings. So many fantastic character transformations in here, um, in the whole series. Um, I'm gonna go though with Malta Vestreet, which is such a good character. She starts out as a young little kind of bratty character and just evolves and grows over the series of the trilogy into um, a wonderful and interesting and just really fun part of the series. So I'm gonna go with the, the um, Live Ship Trader series and the character of Malta street question number three and there was supposed to be some animal footage in here um, because Jim has a dog and people were asking him for some more animal uh, pictures of, of his dog Abby so my cats are not nearby but I do have three wonderful cats and I am grabbing them and putting them in a video as they as they deign to allow me to touch them <laughs> Um, so question number three is A is for Australia. What is the last book you read by an Australian author? And I had to sort of rack my brain for this one. I don't, I realize I really don't read a lot of Australian authors. I didn't do the Aussie April uh, readathon. I should have done that because this is just an area that I'm very lacking. Um, but I did find this one on my shelves. I have read this. I loved this book. Uh, this is People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks, who is, I believe, an American Australian writer. But um, this was fantastic. She won the Pulitzer Prize for March um, a few years ago. And I just loved this book. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And look at that cover. Isn't that pretty? You know, I love my pretty covers. Um, so I'm going with Geraldine Brooks for my Australian author. Um, prompt number four, A is for Austin. What do you plan to read for Jane Austen July? And I have got a whole mess load of Jane Austen books. Um, I've actually got multiple copies of some of them. Um, but I think I'm going to do a reread of Persuasion, which is one of my favorites. I've got three copies of it on my shelf, and I love them all for different reasons. This one is the, um, oh gosh, I already forgot these are called, the um, Penguin... <laughs> Yes, the Penguin Cloth Pound um, hardback editions, which are, I mean, isn't that gorgeous? I bought this on a work trip to Waco, Texas. I remember the moment that I bought this at the store I was at. It was a sublime moment uh, um, in Texas, and I just, oh, it was, was wonderful. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reread Persuasion, but I will probably read it. Actually, honestly, I'll probably read it on my Kindle. But I also have this Penguin English, Penguin English Library edition. 
And I also have this really fun old edition that I just absolutely love um, that was printed by H. Wolf in New York. Although totally bummed because Half Price Books, who usually does a good job, put a sticker on the actual paper. And that totally bums me out. So this, I have read this actual copy. I've stuck it in my purse and my pants and carried it around and I just ab absolutely love it. So I think I'm going to read um, Persuasion for Jane Austen. Jane Austen, July. Question number five. A is for automobile. What is your favorite literary automobile? And this was a super duper easy one for me because... It is Nancy Drew's blue convertible. I think at one point it was a blue roadster and then it, it became a blue convertible. And I read these Nancy Drew mysteries when I was a kid and I just thought Nancy Drew was the coolest thing ever. She always had matching outfits and a blue convertible and handbag and this was in the 70s when I, clearly I thought that was very, very cool. Um, and look at this copy. Isn't this just stunning? Really good condition. I just absolutely love this. So Nancy's blue convertible. One of these days I'm going to get a convertible. Um, okay. Question number six. A is for anonymous. What is your favorite book or poem published anonymously. I don't think I have anything. I can't think of anything uh, for that prompt, so I'm going to have to skip that one. Uh, question seven, A is for autobiography. What was the last autobiography you read? And I realize I have more um, probably memoir than I have actual autobiography, but um, in this one I have not read. I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't, I'm not sure that I ever will, but this is a, um, an autobiography by Paul Stanley of Kiss. It's called Face the Music, A Life Exposed. And my sister got this for me for Christmas one year. We are big Kiss fans. 2019, we did a Kiss cruise from Florida down to the Jamaica. And oh, it was one of the funnest things I ever did. Um, it was Kiss there. They did performances. They did a sail away show on the deck of the boat with, with no makeup on. We were in the very front row for that, so we were like this close to them. I mean, they're 70 years old. I'm 53, and I still feel like I'm 10 years old <laughs> stalking Kiss whenever I'm around them like that. Um, so I just absolutely love this. I mean, hi, Paul. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Um, okay, I got off on a little tangent. Um, eight, A is for audiobooks. Do you consider listening to an audiobook as reading? And yes, I do consider audiobooks reading. They are clearly not using your eyes for reading, but there's more than one way to read, right? You can read with your eyeballs, you can read with your ears, you can read with your fingers if you are reading Braille. They're different experiences. They're valid experiences, and I prefer reading with my eyeballs because I have the luxury of having eyesight. Um, I don't commute. I just don't have much need for audiobooks, and I do love the I do love the reading experience. But I don't think that means the other ways to read are any less valid. They're just different. Um, and that is the a tag by Jim. I'm not going to tag anyone because I just did a tag yesterday. Or, uh, I've done a bunch of tags and I've tagged people. So I think I'm just going to um, leave this one. I know a bunch of people have already done it anyway. And I'm just excited to participate and share my thoughts on the A tag. Thank you. Bye-bye.